Hi beautiful family and if I have any new friends that are visiting me today my name is Lady Cinnamon and welcome to my channel I appreciate you for stopping by today so guys today is welcome to episode number four and this is of the spring is sprung series and I really wanted to do some shabby chic decor I love doing vintage and time warm like faux finishes and glazes with distressing so I will get into how I created these now so for my first DIY I have one of these wreaths from the Dollar Tree and some eggs and I really wanted to do a naturalistic sort of spring accent with that dark colored twig frame so I'm going to be using these um, really pretty blue colors like sort of like a robin's egg blue to paint out these eggs and I'm going to be doing it in different shades and then going back and distressing them in all different sizes because I'll be using these for two different DIYs so I'm doing some larger ones medium and then small ones also now I'm going to go back and distress them. I wanted the little tiny ones to look just like little robin's eggs and for the larger ones I want it to just be a really pretty um, wreath. Now for the smaller one I'm going to be using some decorative moss from the Dollar Tree, a really old um, pedestal that's damaged <laughs> and one of these um, basically a grapevine orb and I've had this for a while I just never used it hot glued it in place and added a little bit of floral leaves from the Dollar Tree also and now I'm just gonna take my floral cutters and just cut out a little area of this because I'm going to be treating this sort of like a miniature um, little like bird's nest sort of so I'm just cutting out enough of that to make a space I'm going to go ahead and put in my moss and I love this little package because it has little pine cones and little mushrooms and it's just so cute it reminds me like of a fairy garden so I'm gonna go ahead and put my eggs in and that's it for this DIY I love the way it looks and actually it does look like a nice nest like a really nice robin's egg bird nest or something really cute love the way it looks so for that floral foam and now that my eggs are dried down I'm going to take some of this natural um, it's actually grapevine wrapped around wire and it's so nice for projects like this and I'm just gonna weave it through this to give it a natural look because like I said I wanted that dark colored twig frame for my base now I'm going to go back with one of these garlands from the Dollar Tree and this will give it the greenery that it needs that's all I'm going to use I don't want it to be overdone I want it to look vintage and I'm going to take my chabby chic eggs and just go ahead and hot glue them into place. And the great thing about this guys is that they were already on sticks so all I did was pull that little bow off and it was really easy to paint them down on the stick and then they dried and they didn't have to touch any surfaces so really great idea to keep them on the stick if you're planning on painting them. And as you can see I am just going and placing them into the reef and hot gluing them in place and now I will go back with some um, Spanish moss and this will really give it that really nice time-worn look that I'm going for for this reef and I really like the way it's turning out with that twig frame and that adorned with that those mosses and all of those blue eggs is just so nice to me so to keep this really looking vintage I am not even going to use ribbon I'm going to go in with some strips of burlap and I am going to make a ribbon to hang it from and basically that's it <laughs> I'm also going to put a bow on top of the ribbon just for a little bit more of, um, you know, nice look and I just love the way this turned out. I love those naturalistic spring accents that you can bring into your home and i so in love with shabby chic. I always have been but I haven't done it for quite a while and I really wanted to do some this year and I think they look great. So another shabby chic item is anything that's glazed <laughs> or decoupage. So I'm going to be using this bunny I got on a really good sale at the Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99, but it was 50% off and then another 20% off, off of that at the Hobby Lobby. So really good, good, good savings. <laughs> I'm also going to be using some craft paper. Instead of just taking the big sheets, you really want to just cut out the pieces to really give it that vintage look for like a glazed or porcelain heirloom definitely shabby chic it's not shabby chic unless you got something 
glazed and decoupaged in your home whether it's furniture <laughs> so I got this Mod Podge by the way from Miss K from creating with Miss K thanks Miss K for the Mod Podge it was my Galentine's Day present from her so yeah make sure you guys go over and check out her channel she's so sweet and kind sending her girl these nice presents so I told her the next time I do a DIY I was going to definitely use her present and I figured what better way would be to do some decoupage and you don't have to have decoupage medium you can use Mod Podge guys so as you can say I basically just cut them out and I'm just adding them on to the bunny you can add as many or as little as you want all you have to do is apply the Mod Podge add the flower on and then go back over it and once you have all your pieces in place you do want to go back over it and give it one more coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing to get the glazed look and guys does this not look like a glazed porcelain piece that you would see in the store absolutely love this figurine a floral decoupage figurine is so pretty this time of year and I think it looks gorgeous so for my last DIY I'm not sure how I feel about this guys because we had some rolling power outages the you know power went out the power came back on so this sort of got very interrupted and yeah lost a lot of footage so what you'll see is me going through the process of starting this but then there will be a lot of times where the footage just got lost so I do apologize I wasn't even going to go ahead and edit it and put it in but I figured you know what this is real life we all go through this so it's not my best but it's not my my situation I really couldn't help why these things were happening but the power was going out so guys I do apologize but there wasn't really much I can do about the bad weather so as you can see there was a lot of lost footage I'll be here now showing you where I'm going around the edges and what I'm adding to it this would be also another shabby chic look I did start showing you how I made the backing it looks like it's like a pickup truck very vintage looking pickup truck where they had the um, the ladder type look with the wood panel on the back where the flatbed was all of that got lost in footage as you can see so I'm at the very end here gluing this in place and um, yeah but I, I know a lot of footage was lost but I do still sort of like that the piece because it does look very vintage and as you can see I really didn't change a lot of the items from the Dollar Tree just the bottom truck and yeah so I hope you like the way it turned out even though I wasn't able to get all of the footage because of the blackouts for the weather hope you guys are safe out there from all that going on and if you guys like all of these great DIYs that were for shabby chic for spring and Easter decor don't forget to um, give it a thumbs up because they really help out our channels I am definitely trying to continue to grow my channel and I appreciate all of your support so guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell twice for notifications notifications and I'll see you all in the next video stay safe keep your head up and yeah thanks for watching